This is an installation video for the Pack Keep Alive kit. Inside the kit, uh, it comes with a bag that has three parts, a connecting cable, some double-sided sticky tape, which is actually pretty aggressive and uh, a pain to get off, and a uh, toggle switch. And the toggle switch is for use with the D-cell batteries. So, oh, you can't see it in here. With the D-cell batteries, there's no disconnect. So anytime you have batteries in here, it is connected to the boards, and it is a little bit of a drain, and I was just surprised they didn't put a power switch in here. So that's what this is for, just a power switch for that. It doesn't really have anything to do with functionality uh, of the Keep Alive, other than uh, the pack won't do anything with that switch off. So, and the uh, electronics itself, the circuit board here, and the tools, once the pack is open, I just got scissors, uh, Phillips screwdriver, and pliers. Okay, so inside the pack, let's zoom in here, and you can see part of my test bench stuff back there. So, inside we've got uh, the circuit board here and uh, several cables going into it. So the first thing we want to do is uh, remove the cables. So with that we've got, uh, for example, the battery. So this comes from the battery pack down below. You can grab it. If you've got strong fingers, pop that thing out and you grab it. Actually try to grab around here. Don't grab on the wires because that can hurt it. And just grab on these edges that kind of stick out. If you've got a problem pulling those out, uh, Pliers work pretty well too. I'll make sure, hopefully you can see this pretty well. Uh, there we go. So you can take the pliers and just grab in the same spot. As you can see here, uh, just grabbing it's supposed to be on the lip only. So you're not grabbing the wires and you're not grabbing that whole socket and just pull that out. Uh, we can also pull the purple one out. Okay, wait, I'll use the pliers since at least maybe you can see that better. Yeah, see how easy it works? <laughs> there we go. There's the purple one. Purple is power that goes out to the wand. And the last one is, this is the power switch. The cable comes in here for the white one. So try and make sure I don't block your view. Good. And pull that out. So these wires are going to be replaced by the uh, connections on the electronics board that we're going to add, the Pack Keep Alive board. Okay, the other prep work we want to do then is, so we got those cables off, come up here and we have, this is where the toggle switch goes. So right now there's a switch, I can reach back behind and you can't really see too much happening there. Uh, but the switch it's not connected to anything, and that's the one we're going to take over. So I've loosened the screws already, just so you don't have to see me struggle with getting all these screws out. Okay, only two. There, there are out. So I'll set the screws down. Screen. And out pops this. So it's a little square bracket. Now, inside there, See if I can show it even better. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it. If it would focus, you could see it. There we go. And in here is a toggle switch. That's what's going up. You see on the outside, and you're able to slide that back and forth. And in case you don't remember which way it goes, see the uh, see the tab over here. There is a notch in this, so it will go this way. So I'll just put this back in the hole. Try not to bump the camera. Set it right there. Good. And then we'll go back to the actual part itself. So smooth on this side that goes in, and then we got a couple of notches here, which presumer, presumably are to hold the uh, toggle switch. So out of the bag. I'm going to pull out the toggle switch. So, the easiest way for me is just more with these tabs sticking out here. Go from the opposite side so that the cable comes out by the tabs. Pull, and then you got two choices. Uh, I prefer having them 
up like this. So right now the switch is on. So then we take that, hopefully you can see that, and then we just take it and slide it in. Uh, there's a little tab on the washer and stuff, and that may be strong enough to hold it in, but it should slide back and kind of catch on these. So now it's in pretty solid. See this is all the way to the back. One thing we don't want is the nut or washers or anything should not stick out past this edge. So if you look from the side, it's right in there. Uh, hopefully you can see that. Anyway, so it's setting like this, and that's your toggle switch. So we want it to be on the same way as the power switch. So down here inside the power switch, you flip it towards the, uh, the way the packs are in right now, towards the bottom of this pack, so towards the outside. So this would be the same way. When it's flipped this way, it's on. And to do that, we've got to make sure the wires are in the top here. So now we've got this in. If that's real loose and wiggling around, work can come out. Uh, I've seen some people like hot glue in here. To put a little hot glue, it'll hold it in place. But uh, on the ones I've played with so far, this has been working really well. So then we just take this. It's easiest with the toggle switch down. And I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit more. This just slides into the hole, and you kind of wiggle it around. Get over here. And you have to get it back, because these have to seat, the actual clamp here has to seat on these two posts pretty well. And once you do that, you can hold it in, reach around, and just kind of check. Yep, it's working. It's As in, I can move the switch up and down. And then, we would take the screws, those back in. And for me, right now, that's good enough. Of course, uh, you should tighten that in better and use both screws. There we go. So now we've got a new power switch, or battery disconnect switch we didn't have before. And we've got uh, the three I'm not even showing you that. So now we've got the new battery disconnect, the purple, the white, and down here we've got the battery connector. Those are going to go into the new board. So we come back and get the board, plastic bag. The reason I had the scissors is just to open up the bag. And we pull this out. Okay, so the easiest way is to have this is the DC uh, for a 12 volt battery connector. Have it paint, pointing downward, and then take. Uh, we're going to now plug in the wires from the pack. So the purple goes to purple. Oh, and looking at these, on the connectors, you'll see that there's some notches. Uh, these are alignment uh, features on there, and then a flat side. And on the actual socket itself, you've got some hole or slot here that those alignments can go in, and a flat side. So find those alignment tabs. See, yeah, there we go. And just push it in here, that nice reaffirming click. Uh, then we go with the, uh, the easiest one to do next. It's got a long cord, is the yellow. So same thing, there's the alignment features. Pop that in. And then uh, the white one goes, of course you gotta get it the right way, not in the vent. See, I'm showing you that it can't go in. This is a feature, <laughs> the white one. Uh, so anything that we add uh, unique to this board, have a different size connector so you can't put them in backwards, and it even labeled white here. So I get for having too many white connectors. Uh, features there, plugs right in. So now we've got the cabling connected here and we need to I'll just let this go for here. So now we take the cable out of the bag. I guess you heard me take it out of the bag. And this is going to be the same three connectors that we just put in from the pack, we're now going to put those back into that uh, original board. So same thing, we got some uh, detents on one side or alignment pins and a smooth surface. So they only go one way. 
plugs in snaps and then we just go let's start with yellow yellow um, again here That yellow, you can see the alignment features go up. Oh, can I do this awkwardly? Well, hopefully you can still see. So that's in. So we have the purple one. It goes back in this area, right down here. Uh, the alignment features are on the outside of the board. So we take this, make sure the alignment, which you can see there, goes on the outside. Sorry if I'm blocking. I'll try to go under here. Now can you see? There, I heard it click. That goes in. And the, the white one goes back to where the switch was. Again, there's the alignment. Goes that way. Try to go under here so you can see. That snaps in. So now we've got from this new connector goes in the purple, white, and yellow. So now all the sockets on the original board have them in. All the cables that originally went there are plugged into this board. So this pack is now ready to go. Uh, the other thing I can do just to help installation is lift. Oh good, you can't see it. Uh, lift this up cable and kind of move it out of the way. Yeah, you'll cooperate. And what we'd like to do is mount the board about here and luckily hey nothing would have happened because we didn't put in our switch so the switch cable comes in and right where the battery comes in which is the the big cable with the yellow on it uh, we have yellow wire here and uh, again it's got a small detent or alignment thing and we will plug it in okay You should be able to focus on that. There we go. So, this is where the power comes in. And right now it just kind of goes to one pin and the other pin goes in and powers things up. So, this toggle switch is really just to go in right here. Plug in. So now, battery comes in here, goes out to the toggle. If the toggle allows it, it gets to power this board. This board will power that board and everything will be grand. So there we go, we've got that. So now we want to mount this board. So move these cables out of the way. And I like putting it right up here. Um, it really gives you good access to this 12 volt connector here with the cable if you decide to add a 12 volt battery later. later. The big thing is don't have it cover the slot. So if you're way up here, then this cable can't really go back in. So you want to make sure to allow that cable in. Have it below the slot and it doesn't really matter how far back here but it just fits nicely here um, and to mount that it does have great trying to show you that up here on this edge is kind of what i lined it up on so the two spots are this edge and the notch kind of make sure you're below the notch so you don't cover that and may as well back it up here and with that um, take the board. Here's the fairly aggressive, already done this once, it takes a while to clean this off. Just peel off the backing, stick it on the board, then this orange, red, whatever color that is, that also comes off. Put that on. I'm not going to do it now. <laughs> and go like that, and boy, it'll stick. And it'll stay right there and won't rattle around or do anything. And so that is uh, the installation other than putting this cable back. So now we've got all the connectors back in. Cables routed where it originally was and uh, you can I would say test it. Unfortunately uh, the pack knows that the uh, cyclotron isn't on over here. It's the, way I... the pack knows that the cyclotron's not in and it's one of these uh, cables here. I think it's this one comes over and says, hey, there's nothing plugged in. I'm not going to let you power up anyway. 
So you really have to set it back in carefully and I guess the easiest way is just put the back, set the back on. You don't have to put all the screws back in, but that way you get, get this post so you can attach stuff to hold that whole cyclotron cover back in so it can be powered up. And then just make sure your switch is in the correct position, which should be uh, same direction as the red power switch. And then just toggle the red power switch, your pack should fire up. Uh, if not, try toggling the switch the other direction and then the power. Uh, and if that's not it, make sure you got batteries in there. I've done that once. That was that, that was kind of frustrating. But once I figured out, oh, it needs batteries too, then it worked out well. So hopefully that will give you a good feel for what it takes to install this board and what it should approximately look like when you're done. So how about right there? Have fun having your pack modified, and now it should stay on all day long.